What's up Fish Huge fans? Welcome to the Fish Huge YouTube channel. I'm Mr. Huge. I show you guys how we fish huge. And right now it's red snapper season 2024 and it's a short season every year so uh, hopefully the tips and techniques I show you will, will help you get on these fish a little bit easier and uh, make your time on the water more productive. So these red snapper, they can be found anywhere from 90 feet of water all the way out to 200 uh, plus feet of water on natural ledges and artificial reefs. So for red snapper, um, the biggest thing is finding their marks. Um, sometimes you won't see a big ledge, sometimes you will. Um, most of the time red snapper are elevated up and you're gonna see a big high asterisk or like a like, like a lot of fish and color higher up in the stream or up in the uh, water column um, so if you've never found them or you have a hard time finding them or you're um, you know you go out there and you only hit one or two um, then Wherever you hit those one or two, there's usually going to be a lot more. Uh, you know, I would go back and hit those areas, chum them up really well. The best way to find them, though, is to drift fish. Um, and, you know, you're looking on your depth finder, you're like, well, you go out there at 130 feet, there's, there's really no, um, no real target, yet, you know. So, all right, so how you want to find a target is look on your maps and check out the uh, depth lines on your chart there will be some areas where it'll drop off a little faster or you'll see that line uh, do like a hook or come back in and there might be a circle or two around that little area um, or, or if you see any real fast uh, uh, elevation changes on the bottom contour on, on your maps that would be a good area to start and you want to drift those areas and make a couple of drifts in different areas and the whole time you're drifting you're going you, the whole time you're drifting you're going to be paying attention to your bottom screen and looking for um, you're going to be looking for those marks that I was talking about for those red snappers now you're going to pass by the marks and then you're in 130 feet you got your line drop down and, and plus you're out a little further so you're, you're going to um, take a second after you hit those marks and then you might start getting bites um, they bite uh, very similar to a mangrove snapper and they fight very similar to a mangrove snapper except they don't really try to get you into the reef like, like a mangrove snapper does um, so you, you, you can some of the bigger ones you can let them run a little bit you know and you're also most of the time you're hooking them higher up in the column because uh, that's where they're sitting and, and, and you know get a good fight out on the only other thing you got sharks and goliaths I absolutely love those things so you want to beat those sharks and you want to beat those goliaths um, at the same time uh, we've been using the uh, the Uzuri pink and uh, fluorocarbon, the Uzuri pink fluorocarbon, the 20 and the 30 pound seem to be doing really well. They also got the 40 pound and, and the 60 pound version. All right, the different um, gear we're gonna use is uh, you can use spinning gear or you can use conventional. It doesn't matter either way, uh, but you, you, you do wanna match your drag to your uh, line size and, and not over tighten it, but you also want to uh, tighten it up till you're maxing out your, your smallest uh, line size. So you, you want to be able to get them in and max out your line size without breaking them off. Um, you'll find that happy medium for you. It, it, it's a little bit different for everybody. Um, so you're going to want to use uh, Carolina rigs. Um, you're going to use knocker rigs. You're going to want to use um, uh, jig heads. A lot of the jig heads that I'm using, you, you know, are uh, uh, eight ounce, three eighth ounce. Um, up to a half ounce, uh, a quarter ounce jig heads. Uh, you know, I'm using all those size jig heads for uh, different things. If I'm drifting fast, or if um, you know I, I can't reach bottom, uh, then I'm going to go up a little bit and try to get down there a little bit better on the drift. And when you find these fish, 
um, you're going to want to anchor up. You've already done a couple of drifts, and and once you've hit a couple of areas where where you, you've uh, hit a couple of nice bites and, and red snapper, redrifted a couple of times. Figure out how you're going to land on that spot, and then anchor up. A lot of people now got Minkotas, so you know you can just when you land on them, just hit spot lock, and you're going to lock right up on them. You know, for us that that anchor up in 130 feet of water. You're, you're gonna wanna uh, figure out the drift and the current and everything, the wind direction and all that stuff. Uh, so figure all that out, get on top of them, and then chum. Throw as much chum as you can out. I got oats, uh, you know, I use um, um, uh, dead greenbacks and, and just all kinds of stuff to, to get these fish uh, active and feeding and looking up. You want them looking up and waiting for something else to come down they're going to uh, come up and they're gonna hit it up higher off of the water column so always be ready while you're dropping it down okay guys uh, so for bait um, bait you're going to want to use a lot of different stuff you're going to use pinfish live and dead you're going to want to have uh, squid you're going to want to have frozen sardines um, you're going to want to have all kinds of different bait thread fins greenbacks sometimes they will not hit live bait and somebody next to me is dropping down a uh, squid and they are just getting tore up with red snapper with squid and I'm not catching anything on, on the live bait. So uh, always have everybody using different gears, figure out sometimes the knocker rig's working better, sometimes the Carolina rig's working better, sometimes the jig head is working better. Um, so have everybody using different things on the boat that's really gonna help uh, everybody narrow in on the bite and be more successful as a team when you're out there fishing together so uh, it's teamwork makes the dream work all right guys that pretty much covers it for all the gear please enjoy the video and I'm mr. huge see you guys on the water <laughs> How many miles do you think we are off for? Uh, we're about 40. Hey, look at there. That's what you're looking for. When you're looking for a new spot, you're looking for marks like that. Yeah, that's a lot better than where we were earlier. I don't see a lot suspended in the column. Maybe a few here. But, that's not too bad. Maybe we drift over it a couple times and see what's going on. It's not your pinfish this time? <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Ooh, red. Hey, red snapper. Nice. He might be 16. No, nope, he's short. How long 16s with He got to be 16. He's 14 and a half. 14 and a half, babe. Say goodbye. Right. Another one. Oh, yeah, that's a snapper. That's going to be a red snapper. They're wanting that lighter line. Crank it, crank it. Let's go. Get it. It's also easier if she sits right here and she leans against the rail. Yeah, that way you've got something forward to lean against and something backwards. To All right, she's coming up. Let's go. Oh, yeah. You got it? That might be a keeper red snapper. That's definitely going to be a keeper. You got it? 
Get him, babe. Take your time. You gotta just don't put in the slack in the line. It's the only big thing. Just keep tension on him. We see color now. Color. Yeah. Keeper. Flip your bail. Yep. That's probably a keeper. Woo! There you go. Hold him out in front of you here. It makes him look better. So we just did a drip and we caught some nice red snapper. I got Goliath on my red snapper, so I'm gonna do another drift. And you can see where I've been marking my drift. And every time we go over a good spot, I'll mark it. And when we catch a fish, I'll mark that spot with uh, the fish that we caught. I'm not gonna be exactly on it, but you'll be close enough. And that's what you're looking for, those one to two foot ledges. You got some fish coming up off the bottom here. Most of the time, those are, are gonna be your red snapper or your mangroves. They're gonna come up off the bottom like that. Now we're drifting. Anytime you come out to a new spot, you wanna drift and mark different areas. Oh, there we go. Oh, it came out. I think I lost my bait. Yep, I got hit, dude. Let it go, let it go, man. You're not. You let me go? Yeah, yeah. So you don't want to let it go like that, though. You want to hold. You want to hold just a little bit of tension right. to where you can feel it. Hit the bottom. Well, you're gonna. It's not gonna hit bottom. You're gonna get wrecked it's before it hits bottom. Something's gonna eat it. So if it ain't getting eaten, then you don't need to lock it up. Yeah. Now he's just sitting out there doing this because you're locked up. So let, let it go, but don't let so much out to where you, you can't you can't tell what's going on. You know you need to you need to feel your fish on there. You need to know when you get hit. Yeah, it's a little bit different game here, but it's it's really rewarding. It's a successful uh, way of doing it. Ah oh, man, that's what I ended up with. Yeah, look, that wasn't a shark. I don't think. I think that was a grouper and it just finally broke in half. Oh man, I'm doing this too, like I'm cutting them. Helps you get it down there. Cut the fins off? Yeah, cut the belly. Oh, oh damn. 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 <laughs> I got that one on on camera. <laughs> bye bye mangrove. <laughs> it was his lucky day. You gotta hit him like immediately. Yeah. Just like that. There you go. Just like that, perfect. Oh, he ain't gonna give me the second time. Not the second time, Cap. Oh, something big down there came up. Oh. See that shit? Right. Holy fuck. Dang, a little short, you think? A little small, yeah, oh yeah, he's small. Yeah, he's short. Just a hair. That was a close one, dude. Oh yeah. my god, I saw something big come up. Yeah, there. there was something big down there. That was that Goliath chasing him. Oh yeah. Oh dang, she just broke off. Dang. Oh, Josh, you on one? Oh, and he just missed his. Yeah. Whoo, we have four swings and misses here. Well, he caught his three swings and misses in the land. Yeah, that was a Goliath, man. That was a big Goliath. You seen that? Oh yeah, he's still down there, but he can't move. Yeah. Think he's shy? 
Let's measure them. Stick them on there. He's close, man. Turn the other way. Yep. Face, you gotta make sure his mouth is closed and his nose is all the way against that, against the, uh, the thing there. Oh, man. Let me see, move your fingers. Yep, close his mouth. And then push it all the way against. Let's go all the way against the nose. He's too close, man. Too close? Yeah. yeah. Let's pop him. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, 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 that's oh man. Oh. That's a big nice red grouper. Dang on the freaking. Hey, hold him up real quick. On the lightweight. Ground just like that with your right hand. He should be able to. You want a glove, bud? Then we gotta let him go. Dang. I think his eyes are a little bulged. That's a nice one, man. God, what a sweet one. Dang, look at you all scraped up. Wow. Well, there you have it. You gotta let him go. Oh, no. Come on, spit it. I can't believe that just happened. I know I'm quick enough, man. I was playing with them too much. <clears throat> oh, red snapper. Gotcha. That's a keeper, huh? About as big as the last one. I don't know, he felt a pound heavier. Yeah. Where'd that measuring stick go? All right. Oh yeah, he'll do. 19? Yeah, another 19 incher. Sweet. Hey, hold him up for the camera. There we go. What a beauty. Another nice one. Oh, that's your limit. You can't fish anymore. Uh, I just throw them back. <laughs> uh, 20 pound test, so it's a beat the Goliaths and get them up. <laughs> oh, maybe. He's close. Yep. He's close. Oh yeah. Se 17, bro. Fire. Yeah, I got a nice 17 incher. Beauty. Nice. Throw him in here. <clears throat> Not there, stupid. We got some red snapper. <laughs> oh shit, that is a fish. Oh yeah. Didn't realize they even had them on. Feels like a grouper though. He's not fighting like a snapper would. Oh, it is a snapper. I got him. I don't think he's legal. That's all right, that's a snapper, huh? Nice. Old American Red. He is right 
on the money. He's 16 and a half. I am not picky. I'll keep him. I'm just gonna put a cut across the head. No, you ain't seen him. Shit, he ain't even got a stone. He's skinny. All right, look at that. Black gooper. Let's measure him real quick. Nope. 20 inches. Oh. What's he got to 24. So, right, you wanna get a photo with him? Yeah, I'll let him go. Yeah, I got you. When you when you take a, go ahead and uh, send him. You should go. Oh. Bye. Thank you. Yep. <laughs>